but I definitely wanted to make it on this morning. And I didn't do a notice again. I know I'm really bad at this, but I kind of just wing it whenever I have time. Super chat. Where is this chat at? It came up last time, so just bear with me. Okay, um, I guess no one's talking. <laughs> it doesn't say any chat. So anyways, guys, I'm literally, I just grabbed these and I'm winging it today. I just wanted to talk and craft a little bit. So I'm going to be using this paper pad today and just some really easy projects, I guess, because it's Sunday and that's what I like to do on Sunday. I like to just do some easy things thinking about doing like a really old tutorial because I saw this paper and I love this paper for this old project that I'm gonna try. Um, I still don't see any chat, are you guys talking? Let me see. Is it super chat? Welcome to live chat. Okay, I guess I'll just start because I don't see anyone talking yet. I'm going to figure it out in a second. Oh my, this paper pad does not want to come out. I don't think I've ever had that problem before. Look at this. This is crazy. I'm cutting that anyway, but it kind of ruined my other paper. So um, say hi if you're in here so I can see. I don't know why my, my chat's not popping up. Last time it kind of popped up. And I really want to be able to talk to you guys. So, hmm. I have a feel. Okay, I see you. Okay, hi, Janet. And Jayka, is that how you say it? And Shirley, okay, I gotcha. It's on now. And good morning from Central California. Oh, I bet it's nice there. It's gonna be really hot here too in Atlanta. In England. Oh, that sounds so beautiful, Jane. That's literally my dream is to be in England with a pond and crafting. <laughs> I see a lot of like um, craft rooms and especially from England and I just am crazy about it. So um, if you just joined, I literally just took out a six by six paper pad and I'm just winging it today. I'm just doing some really easy projects so that I'm able to talk to you guys while I'm kind of crafting. And the thing went away. I hope I didn't do anything wrong. So these are going to be pretty easy projects. You've probably seen them in the past on my channel, but I don't know. It's Sunday, and I like to do easy projects on Sunday. So if you have six by six paper. Hi, Lorraine. First time. Yeah, I don't go on. This is probably the second time I've ever gone live, you guys, besides last week. And I enjoyed it so much that I was like, I have to do it again. Because I f actually feel like I'm crafting with you guys, and... You know, I'm always talking to myself, so it's nice that I'm actually talking to someone. <laughs> so, you know what I also thought I would do, um, because so many asks, is those easy embellishments I usually do. Oh, no, it's starting to be blurry again. Last time I went on live, it was blurry, and I don't know why. Um, but I'll have to look that up after I'm done. So, if you are a newbie and you're watching my channel, this is a very old, classic um, little album that I'm doing. And again, today, I'm using all 6x6 six six papers. And for this one, I'm just scoring at 3 and 3. So, this is an oldie goodie, but I saw these prints and I just felt like doing it because I can multitask. Oh no. Oh, you should see my room. And you guys know I'm doing the house and everything. Um, it's, it's, my room's a bomb. Like I can't even walk in here. Good morning, Julie. 
So I'm just gonna leave this here for anyone who's joining. I'm just, it's a six by six paper and I just scored it three by three. I'm just doing a really classic oldie goodie so I can talk to you guys. So does anyone have any questions? I know you always comment and I try to answer everything when you guys have a question. So I thought today would be a good day for that. So I'm just kind of cutting it there. Doesn't matter what side. And I'm using a paper with a lot of print because then you can't mess it up. If you use something with writing on it, it will be upside down. So when you're doing this kind of an album, I always think you should go with like a print. And look at these papers, aren't they pretty? I bought this a couple months ago and I never got to use it. Oh, my bracelet, yes, I, I wear this. So I know, and it's so bad, I need to like restring it. So my best friend actually <clears throat> made it for me. She makes, um, she's into like, yoga and you know all that kind of thing reiki and um <clears throat> i'm a very anxious person so she made it for me and um i wear it all the time i swear it helped me when um she gave it to me so i wear it like every single day and it broke on me and i was like you have to send me another one <laughs> but i can't let go of the one she made me that's why so that's why I wear it because I'm a super anxious person and I do have a little bit of anxiety, but it's not like wacko attacks per se, but internally, but I've learned to deal with it. Like I have a normal life. Um, so, and she's helped me with all that because it's like when you start getting anxious, which everyone is in this world today, um, you just have to learn how to deal with it. And I feel like this helps me, um, meditating, my bracelet, so FYI. So that's the story behind that. You caught me, Angela. I'm here. So I'm just doing an oldie goodie thing. I just cut this. So if you're a newbie, you just kind of do this. So the top, and you go around here, and you have this easy little album. So I'm doing easy today, you guys, because I noticed last time I couldn't like craft and talk at the same time. And I want to be able to talk. Yes, it was. And, you know, she is too. So like, um, and I'm just gluing it right now, you guys. Um, I've, I, I, I didn't, you know, it was after I became a mom, it got worse. Like I noticed when I was a kid, I was kind of anxious, but it really triggered when I became a mom and you know, the media, it just makes you insane. You can't like watch it. So, um, yeah, that's what happened. But I'm glad she helped me like really learn more about myself and how to figure things out. So this is why I say to use this kind of print because you know, you don't know which way it's going to go. So if you're a newbie, these are like the easiest albums to make. And, it's one of my favorites and you could even like make this with six by six paper. I mean, not six by six, we are doing 12 by 12 and it makes it bigger. So if you're doing a 12 by 12 paper, instead of scoring at three and three, you'll score it at six and six and it will do the same exact thing. <clears throat> yeah, we all, and that's probably why I craft a lot too. You know, it kind of takes my mind off things. So, so what's everyone doing today? Do you guys like Sunday for craft? Brazil. Hi, Kimmy. It's good to see you on here. We always talk, but I never go on uh, live. And today was that day because it's, I'm waiting on the, um, if you've, you've been following my house purchase, I'm waiting on, we, so we had our inspection and now there was a couple of things that, have me a little concerned because the house is only four years old and there was like a leak under the sink and the bathroom that they never fixed and it was like I can't believe they would just let it leak like that and it leaked to the floor but there is not a lot of water and um what was the other thing the big thing was when they went to go to an inspection for the air there was no filters in the air systems <laughs> And that was alarming because I saw one of the vents rusting and I was like, uh, that could be bad. It might be rusting because there was no proper ventilation going. Um, it blew my mind though. I just couldn't believe they found that. So I'm a little concerned about that. Two new kins. Oh man. Yeah. They, they, I have a dog who acts like a cat and he loves string 
ribbon. He tries to get everything. Like he's eaten a lot of my things. <laughs> yep, I'm live. I was wondering how it tells you guys if I'm live because I didn't, I couldn't figure out how to do the premiere and I just gave up and I'm like, I'm just going to go live and see who joins. Oh, South Carolina. I love it there. We, me and my husband got married in uh, Charleston, but my family's in North Carolina. Yes. Papers, ribbons. Um, he even like, if th this was on the floor, he would tear it up. He, and he, now he runs under my bed because he knows like I can't get to him and <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Yes, Charleston's so pretty and romantic. I've heard it's changed a lot. South Florida, I am from South Florida, Angela. Well, I grew up most of my life in Hollywood. Okay, I see. I, I, I never get live notifications, but I don't really hang on YouTube that much because most of the time I'm filming on it. Yes, I'm live. So this, I was just doing this really easy album um, just so I could talk to you guys at the same time. And maybe I can do an embellishment too, but you could see how far I've gotten. I usually have cats and um, this is my first dog. But I realized that I don't think my cats ever loved me <laughs> after having a dog. I was like, I don't know if they, I don't know. I don't think they loved me like my dog. My dog really, really loves me and he can't get enough of me. My cats, like they would run away from me because I would be smothering them. So I'm just doing a little punch. And after this, I think I'll do embellishments. So if you're kind of doing this easy album, I like to take a little tag and put it in that pocket. And then you have like this, it, you can really make this easy six by six come to life. My family's in North Carolina. They're in near like Fort Bragg. Oh, Pompano Beach. Yes, I had a couple of uh, really good friends in Pompano Beach, actually. I used to hang out there a lot on the pier um, because they lived really close to the pier over there. My favorite paper source is actually is the hip kit now, really. It used to be scrapbook.com, but I'm like obsessed with the kits. I had never ordered it before coming becoming a design member, but now like if I even I'm not on the design team, I think I would order the kit because just because their embellishments and like their lettering is and I'm telling you. <clears throat> so, I know I link a lot of things, but like things like this like I feel like this quality is so good because when I order like American crafts and not to knock them or anything, but these like they won't stick or they come off and the chipboard doesn't stick and that bothers me. But with the hip kit, everything sticks. It, the quality is just, I can't compare. I still do like um, scrapbook.com. Don't get me wrong. And I still will buy those type of things. Um, I love it, but that's my favorite right now is the hip kit because they incorporate American craft things as well. So PA, I love, I have an aunt in PA. The Netherlands is gorgeous. It's Moxville. I have not heard of that. Here I am. South Alabama is where my husband's family is from, from LA, Alabama, they call it. Um, so have a, a picture of my dog. Okay. I'll, I have one right on my desk. Oh, I know my dog definitely has separation anxiety. He's not like horrible. I've trained him that when I leave, like he gets sad and he rolls on his back. But this is me and Bandit. He's a, I, I, I know I don't pronounce it right, but he's a Shih Tzu. Um, and he is a big ball of fur. <laughs> he's, he's really hairy here, but actually he's a lot more cut down now. So that's Bandit. He's my uh, second child right now. <laughs> See, this is how much I get done crafting Denmark. Oh yeah, that's the time to get things done. See, I can't even craft when I'm talking because I'm too busy talking. Yes, the hip kit, Julie, um, like in my last video, it's the hipkit.net and um, that's the design team I'm on. So it's like right here, yeah, hipkit.net and I, 
I love it. I I wish I had honestly known of, I mean, I knew of them and I'd seen their work, but <clears throat> until I was asked, I wasn't sure what I was really getting into. So that's why um, now I know. And I will definitely, like I said, if I'm not on the design team, I'll definitely be still getting kits and stuff from them. So that so if you want to put like a picture here but again this is six by six just because i pulled it out obviously it's really hard for teeny tiny so you can make this like eight by eight a lot of you had asked um what can i do with my eight by eight papers you could do this you could do this with your six by eight and then you have more room for pictures because this realistically is not going to probably fit you see it's too big and this is as small as you get unless you're doing like a two by two let me see thank you Okay, so that's just that. What else can we do? So let me try an embellishment, I guess. Um, let me see here. So I don't know if I have anything florally. Let me see if I have some pieces here. So these are tags. Of course I picked. Okay, I could do it with this. All right, so when I'm doing my embellishments... I usually use like a punch like this and this is sized I think this is two and a half inches I always link it but I don't remember the size and then I have this as a two inch I always use these two punches and then I like to take glitter stock or just something like to contrast the background it could even be another paper it doesn't have to be glitter it could be um, just whatever. So I'll usually take this and then a paper. So let me find a good pattern so it doesn't look weird. Oh, thank you. Oh, Julie, I'm so sorry. That's my nightmare. Like I think about losing him and I just like, I'm in a Shih Tzu group and I will like, I, I'll die. I can't, I can't even think about it. I was like, why? This is why I didn't want a pet because I can't deal with the heart the heartbreak. It's too much. So I'm so sorry. So look, here is um I, when I see people with the pictures, it's just like you put yourself in their shoes and you're just like heartbroken for them. So again, I'm using double-sided tape because you know this is what I always use. And I kind of just layer it up. Here, let me get this out of the way. I hope it's not too blurry, you guys. I know um I don't know why it does that when I'm filming live now. So you see, you just have like a little bit going on there. And then I usually will take something and like just to make it pop up. And I wish I had a little more here because I like to use lettering and things like that. This is pretty, so this would work good. See, I literally work the same way off camera on and I'll be in my room doing this. And then you could put your little, um, you know, the um, enamel dots and things like that around it. And it really makes it pop. This collection, I don't think it has that. Oh, but I do have some hip kit stuff. Let me see here. If I have anything. I always love to put lettering. Hi from Virginia. Awesome. Hi, Natalie. Thanks for joining. Texas, that's where we were before we came here. And I usually like to take just like a lettering and put it somewhere. So if you don't want to block it, I don't know. Where do you guys like? Maybe here? No, that's kind of weird. Maybe here. So you're not covering it. But that's usually how I do my embellishments. But I like puffy stickers, so... If I was really going to, I love this collection here. And I almost did it with the Maggie. Um, but I didn't have a lot of dyes left from my last thingy. Let me see if I can make one with Maggie. I'm kind of... I should have cleaned my desk before I did this. <laughs> Another person from Virginia... A lot of us are on the, besides around the world, a lot of us are actually on the East Coast today. I feel like there's a lot of people in Cali, though. 
Like all the big crafting things are always in California. And I always feel so bad because um, I'm all the way over here and it's just too much with my dog and my kid. Okay, I found some Maggie stuff. So let me grab this Maggie paper pad and we'll use the puppy stickers to use the embellishments. Oh, there's someone from Cali. Two Callies right there. See, always Cali. <laughs> I noticed. So this is really pretty, England. Oh, I know, I, I feel so bad because you guys are on a completely different time zone and I try to, I never know what time to go on and I always do a vote, but everyone always has something different to say and I never know what time to come on. I wish it could, uh, I wish I could be on <laughs> so it would be easy for everyone. I'm gonna cut one of these out. So this is the Maggie, because I want to use the puffy sticker. So I want to put kind of a background that's patterned and not too busy, because when you put the embellishment on, you want to be able to see it. So let me, I hope this cuts okay. I got this pa glitter paper at Tuesday morning, and it doesn't cut that great. Okay, good. It did for me live. <laughs> Houston, nice, and New York. Goodness, I love that we're from everywhere. Isn't it amazing? So I'm gonna do this one, I think. And I'm just layering it up again with some double-sided tape. Foam, by the way, foam tape. And I love the uh, flowers that Maggie has in her kit. So I'm gonna put that on. And let me see if we can find something here. So usually I love like this lettering. Anything with puffy lettering really will make your embellishment come out. And if you stitch it, it's even better. But if you don't sew, I, I, I personally don't love to sew. <laughs> I just get by. But you can just like leave it like that and then you have like the prettiest embellishment can you guys see is it blurry for you because it's so blurry in here right now and i have the light on i don't know what's going on with my uh thing i hope when i upload it it's okay so there's like just two easy embellishments so you could see if you like you know more floral or i don't really love that but i just did it live so i'm just kind of leaving it here i'll do another one um, let me see if I grab a different paper. But do you see why I use like the like the non-busy background? Because then your embellishment will come more to life. It's not blurry for you, okay, Cami? Oregon. Oh, Cindy, welcome to the scrapbooking world. I just love it. I know I started like just with scrapbooking, and then it became this mess. <laughs> But I do love it. I think I'm going to use this rainbow paper. So yeah, you guys can see how disorganized I am. When I just cut things out, I just put it kind of back in my paper pad and I go back to it. And I flip through it. I'm going to use this one. Let's see how this one comes out. Let's see if there's one more. I love this paper. I haven't had time to do anything. Like... I have a whole box from that haul that I got from um, scrapbook.com and I just haven't really gotten a chance to play with anything yet. Okay, oh, this heart one looks cute too. Let's try the heart. Thanks for joining me, you guys, this morning. I wasn't sure it's Sunday. I just feel like everyone's lazy on Sunday unless you like they go to church. Like in our area, what they do is usually church and then I live close to the mall. So after that, they go out to eat <laughs> and then um, it's jam packed in our area. And I basically just don't want to leave my house because it's so busy. So let me see if I can find something for this. 
Yes, the big punches make a difference because with these, you can use it for your notches and embellishments. And you can still do this with small, like um, if you do have small punches. Hi, Gracie. There's a few from Callie. Good morning. So here's a small one. Like, so if you have a tiny one, um, oh, I just threw my thing on the floor. Hold on. So don't think you can't do it because you have no big ones because you can make little mini embellishments. So let me punch out a tiny one and see what we can come up with. I'm trying to find a paper that I already punched so I don't destroy all my paper. Um, there's a little pink. Okay, hold on. So this is just a little circle. So if you have tiny punches, this is why I like these little ones. And let me see what I got here. Kind of going through my dies here. But you can still use these and make little ones. But what I would do for this is probably sew it. Like you would sew it. And then if you want, you could put something behind it, like skinny banners. If you have a skinny banner, you could put two little skinny banners on it. So don't think you can't do it basically just because of that. That's all. All right, let me see. Hi, Sherry, awesome. I know, I was like really a little behind. Oh, I just did the wrong punch. <laughs> See, I'm multitasking here. I meant to do the flowery one. I'm glad you made it. See, this paper is just not that great. I, I, My favorite one is really the one from Hobby Lobby. That one cuts really well when you go through it. So it's a little more expensive, but um, it works. So I'm just making these embellishments, you guys. I'm just doing really easy projects just so I can talk to you guys at the same time without doing it. Like if I, I don't think I could ever do a mini album live, <laughs> I would be way too distracted. I wouldn't be able to read the um, print. So just some double-sided uh, foam tape. And I'm just gonna pop these on. And this is the one that we had done before. So I'm looking. This is so cute, this pretzel, but I don't know if it's going to work. It is cute. I just don't know if my foam tape is too thick. It might cover it. Let's see. It might work. I don't know what I'm going to put on the outside of it. Oh, I guess like a little heart or something. No. And I'll go back and forth like this. Hola, France, so pretty. I just, it's amazing how many people watch my channel from everywhere. It's crazy. I don't know if that makes sense, a pretzel, uh, butterfly on a pretzel, but I'm just gonna do that. And then this one, I found a really pretty one, this butterfly. So I used to live, when I lived in Germany, I lived an hour from the France border. And my parents used to go to the market there all the time and buy like food and fruit and bread. It was the bread. They went for the bread. And I don't remember too much of it, but that was a big thing when I was a kid. I don't know if this is going to work out so well. Is that weird to have a, a flower on the wing? Maybe. Yes, it is. <laughs> I just wanted to put something puffy there. But this is kind of why I wanted to use something a little smaller. That's all right. So I'm just going to use kind of that. So if you're like doing, you know, a swap or something, you have these pretty embellishments and you could do, I wish I had done four Maggie. Thank you, Teresa. I just wanted to show you how easy, and this is how I do all of them. 
I, I never switch it up because I don't really know how to do embellishments that well. I see people get very creative and do these crazy things. And um, I, you know what it is? I don't have a lot of patience. That's why I like to do quick things um, because it's just too much. So you know how we made that little album right here? So something like this would be perfect. You could even put it on the front of your album just to make it pop up a little bit. I wish I had done one for the Maggie because I feel like this would be pretty on top of an album. And this is the six by six paper. So that's that. And let me think, let me try and do one more thing. Um, should we do, you know what? I did those things um, yesterday. Was it the upload? Maybe I can do one of those real quick. The easy six by six paper project. I'll do one of those. So, hmm, this, I don't know what's going on with my paper pad. It's tearing really terrible. I'm trying to figure out which papers I'm going to use. This is really pretty. I'm going to use this one. And I'm trying to see what will match it. So usually when I'm trying to find paper, a lot of you ask me how I coordinate. I will really go through my paper pad like this and just kind of match it up and see what looks the best. So I kind of go back and forth and see how it's going to look so it doesn't look wonky. I do like this because it's kind of pink and pink. So I'm going to use this one. And I have to cut this down because that loop is on there. I like it when you can just tear out the 6x6 six six of the paper pad and not have to trim it. But this one, bonjour! I cannot, I'm going to have to translate that. Hi, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Is that Montana? Oh, my goodness. I have a friend in Montana, and it's so beautiful there, but it's very cold. I don't know if I could live in the cold like that after living in Boston. I couldn't handle it. So this is, again, you guys, six by six. This is the tutorial I put up yesterday that I'm doing. I'm just going to do it real quick. I'm sure people have other things to do on their Sunday, right? I'm going to have to feed my son lunch soon. Well, I don't know what time it is. I usually feed him around 12. Oh, another pink strawberry. Hi. Thank you so much, Teresa. Finland. Missouri, sorry. Oh, gosh. See how long it's been since I've been in school. Okay, so this is just going to be the top. I'm going to do some scoring my 6 by 6 paper at the 2-inch mark. And I did mine upside down so that when my print upside down, so, you know, you want your flowers to be facing this way. So just remember that when you're doing your top. Put your paper the opposite way of your print so that when you fold it it's not upside down so that's the two inch and now i'm going to do three and this side doesn't matter because it's polka dot so this is three inch on my six by six so if you missed my tutorial yesterday this is what i did and put a little punch um hold on which way is my paper going Actually, I want it to go like this. So I just made these easy little envelopes yesterday. Oh, you have to go to work. I'm sorry. Hi, Linda. So good to see you here. I'm just doing some random projects here. Just quick ones, kind of so I can talk <clears throat> while I'm working. And my glue. But does everyone else shake their hand a lot when they're gluing? Even if I'm off camera, my hand still does this. I have no, I don't know why my hand shakes so much when I put glue on. It's probably because I'm just not patient. <laughs> okay, I'm just gluing this on. Hold on, I can't really see what I'm doing. Because I don't want to stick my head. Okay, that's a little higher, and this red is showing. Let's 
So just doing that tutorial from yesterday again. And isn't that pretty, the pink? I love the pink and pink together. That's no surprise though, right? And look, and just to show you if we have those embellishments that we did, just some fun ideas is like, you could put it on the front so that when they open it, you have those embellishments that we made and you can use that. Or you could do the same thing like yesterday where you kind of like put it inside. So it's almost like a flip book envelope thing. And I still cannot find my punch <laughs> that I used from yesterday. I had my favorite circle punch for my um, little prong, but that's okay. I have the smaller one. So yeah, last time I went live, there was a few people who were looking for like pen pals and things and they were talking to each other in the chat and a few of them gained um, some pen pals. So like if there's people who need a pen pal and things or want to swap crafts, this is a good way to get to know each other if you're looking for that and contact each other. So I'm using these eyelets. Again, if you don't have eyelets, you know, just use your brads. I'm going to use gold since I'm using gold. If I can grab it. These things are tedious to grab out every time I have to use them. So if you're not doing this, again, the embellishment will be really pretty on there. But aren't they just so pretty and easy to do? And then... So we did, oh, let me see what I got over here. Do I have any lettering? I didn't open this pack until I got on. So here. And I don't, I know some people probably like put the glue everywhere. I, I always just kind of put it on just what I need. I don't know why I do that. Thank you, Lisa. And I love sharing it with you guys. It's the highlight of my day. Seriously, when I... Thank you, Linda. This is um, from this collection here. Um, is this the Cartabella? Yes, it is. It was one, in one of my previous haul things. Greece, amazing. Greece looks so beautiful. I have not been there. But I hear it's very crowded on the island. So... Um, and I know it's very touristy now, especially now that they have like, you know, TikTok and all that. It's gotten, I think, a lot more attention. This would have been so pretty. I almost regret putting something here and here because I feel like this would have been really pretty. This is a different collection. What is my usual thought process when creating new albums? <clears throat> um, You know, I honestly... I sit here and sometimes I just play with paper or I go on Pinterest and sometimes I even look at my old albums and um, like then I think so let me show you a thought process so for instance during the holiday I made this book this album I don't know if you guys remember this one and it kind of went like that and you had this pocket here so I, I recently re, uh, released on the Hip Kit channel an album yesterday. I'm going to put it on my channel too tomorrow. So just FYI, I always, if I'm doing something for the Hip Kit, I put a quicker process video on their channel two days before it comes online. So if you're kind of a fast advanced crafter, it's a good way for you to get an idea of what I'm doing and do it. But then I put the lengthier one on my channel. So an example is I saw that and I had to make an album for my hip kit design team. So instead of doing an album like that, I kind of used the same cover and I made this. And I kind of switched it up. Instead of putting the pockets the way I usually do, I switched it this way. So again, sometimes I just get inspiration from my other albums and I did it like this. So that's kind of just one way that I... I create a new tutorial. It's always good to kind of go back to your old things, just like this one, how, you know, I made that previous tutorial 
I shared from someone else's idea. And then this one's kind of my own. I just modified the idea of what I did. So I hope that helps. Hi, Bertha. Good morning. Oh, Janet, with this one that you made, the uh, envelope, these are so much fun. I don't, I don't, why don't I draw? Because I'm bad at it. I'm really, really bad at it. I, I wish I could. Like my sister, so this is the little album we made earlier. My sister, she is very talented. And the funny thing is people who are good at drawing do not use their talent. It's, it always works that way. My other niece, she's amazing at drawing and she doesn't do it either. So it's like the one who wants the talent <laughs> doesn't have it. So this would be good because it says share joy. And if you think about it, you'll put something in there and you'll be sharing it. So I'm going to put that in there. And since I didn't get to put this on the front like I wanted, I could probably just put that like right here and you can share that. And when I'm sharing things like this, especially for someone else, you want to use not a tape that's too sticky. That's why I like the foam tape because it's forgiving. Like even if you do have a little bit on the back, it's a little forgiving. So that's kind of like just three of the things that we did today. And then I usually put the Velcro strip. Um, but I think I'm out. I think I said that on my video yesterday. So in this case, you could do string, like twine. This is from the Dollar Tree, by the way. This was a great find. I, don't, I haven't been in the Dollar Tree, but it was for Easter. And it's really pretty, the, uh, the color. I usually do it sideways, though, I think. Let me see here how it looks. But I have this. This is kind of too small for me to string on it. That's why I wanted my other circle. And this twine is too thick. So actually, I'm just going to wrap it this way. Yes, just that's what I do. I just sit down and I make it up as I go. It's very rare that I go online and I do someone else's tutorial to the exact. I always just try and um, switch it a little bit or make it my own. But it, it definitely the idea is always inspired <clears throat> somehow, not even just by myself, but by like Pinterest or something like that. So yeah, so this was kind of a three in one. Just wanted to do a couple really easy things with you guys. So what are your guys' plans? Does anyone have any questions like that I could answer before I go and make my son lunch and all that? India, hi. Do you draw? Is it Adi Adios? Adios. I, I won't sing it like Adios, like goodbye, Adios. <laughs> but I want to make sure that's right. So this is that. And then here, you know, real quick, this is another oldie, just six by six that I, an old tutorial. Um, wait, was it six by six? Actually, it might've been bigger. When I used to do the little file folder things, I think I cut it down. Cause I think this is, yeah, this is gonna be too long. So this is another six by six. Yeah, are you? I. What is on my crafty wish list? Kimmy, uh, I'm happy I'm a lefty too. I don't think I'd be creative if I wasn't a lefty. Um, Kimmy, let me think. What is on my craft wish list? The only thing ever on my, like I never go for gadgets. I do not own a silhouette. I do not own a brother. I do not own a cricket. I personally like to do everything myself. Um, I have like a Sizzix. It was my first Sizzix and I still have it a big shot. So when it comes to new things, I never get the new thing. I'm so happy with just like the basics and my favorite things are probably um, paper. That's always on my wish list. But I don't see anything yet. I think there's, oh wait, Paige is coming out with a pretty um, item. So I'm gonna cut this down to four inches, by the way. So it's four by six. Um, Paige is coming out with something. Who else? Um, I have to look, I haven't had time to look, but that's definitely what's on my list is paper all the time. Thank you so much, Janet. I know. I love that I'm able to connect. Like at first I was like, I don't know how I'm going to craft and talk. So I'm just folding this in half, everyone. 
It's just a four by six paper. Um, I just, I love being able to talk. Like, I feel like I am talking to you guys when I'm filming by myself, but it's so much better to be able to talk to you live. And I just appreciate you all, especially, I don't know. I just love it. I love that we're able to connect, even though we're talking, you know, and comments, I still feel close to you guys when I talk in comments, but I just like this way better. So um, this is just going to be a really easy little, you know, I'm just showing a couple of projects. See, look at this. I don't know why it's peeling this way. I've never had, they have the best paper. It must be just a wonky paper pad. And so these are just some of my favorite six by six projects. Do I have minimals? Okay, for if you travel, yes, they have mini scoreboards, like the We Are Memory, there's tiny little scoreboards. Um, honestly, all I need to craft is probably glue and a scoreboard, and I'm good. Glue, scoreboard, and uh, and paper. I could do it just like that. And probably some embellishments too, not like any, you know, like a little die cut pack. So if you travel and a hole punch, maybe <laughs> I'm like my, my list is growing. I said, oh, it's so easy, but actually no, but I, I could survive a weekend with just those three things. And then when I got home, I would be able to like do more when I got home. So this is just another easy project is your you know, little five holder. Sorry, I keep hitting this because I'm talking with my hands. Um, all right, Sherry. Thank you. Hugs from me and Bandit. Um, when is my birthday? June. My birthday's in June. June 28th. This punch is EK. And I always list these, but this is EK tools. And this, because, you know, I, I as much as I love my dye machine, this is the easiest way for me to make a tab. And um, that's why I always use it. So if you're doing little five holes and you know we did the embellishments, you could always put like, you know, the thing we made. I'm just showing some examples of a few things that we did today so that you know that you can, you know, it's so simple to make, but you could definitely use any of these on this project. Oh no, is that bandit? My dog's waking up, just FYI. That it's his lunchtime at noon and it's <laughs> my son's lunchtime at noon. I, yes, I love EK. You know, they have great things. I've say like all of mine are EK. So like usually when I'm using these, they're EK, like every single punch, but I have had one or two that I had to send back because they wouldn't punch good. But I would say nine out of 10 have, or eight out of 10, I'll say. Eight out of 10 have. You're welcome. Um... Okay, so I think that's it. I think I've rambled enough and I hope I answered everyone's questions. Does anyone else have any more? Thank you, Linda. I know he's my little man, you know, he just, and those who missed it, this is little bandit here. This is me and bandit. So he's my little Shih Tzu and he's like a little human, <laughs> very needy. He, I swear he is, my son was easier than he was because he's always up my tail like, and I get it because they just love you so much and they want to be, you know, they think you're their pack and they want to be everywhere you're at. But it's a little overwhelming when I need a minute and I don't get a minute or he's worried that I'm not in the room. Okay, questions. You seem... Ah, okay. You seem to have trouble. With this. So do I have a minimal amount of crafty things? Um... I will say, I my tip for traveling is I don't hoard. And I know you see those craft rooms and they've got everything, but this is what I realize with crafting. I, if, if I have paper and it's been sitting there a year, I'm more than likely not gonna use that paper collection unless it's a holiday. Like for me personally, I love current papers. And when um, it's not current, it just, or I've used it more than once, I don't really want to use it again. I'm like, eh, I want something new. So I don't buy doubles of anything anymore. I used to buy like three or four crepe paper packs because I was crazy about it. Or um, I would buy three of the same paper pads. So I don't do that anymore. And 
I try to use the scraps now. Um, what else? I, I just try to get what I need, basically. The only thing I will hoard, and that's because I need it constantly, is maybe like tape. Tape, um, because I use it so frequently, it runs out, and that's the worst. If I'm trying to do a tutorial, and you guys know when I was struggling <laughs> when I didn't have glue, that that's like the one thing. Um, so I, 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 I have a, I, you would be surprised if I did a tour of my craft room, you'd be like, she doesn't really have that much. I mean, I do, but I don't. It's nothing like if you watch Pinterest and you go to a craft room and they have all these file cabinets, I have like a shelf and like two shelves and like a drawers and that's it. So don't, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you guys do, if you guys go back, but I, like I said, because I like current things, that's, that's basically why I don't hoard anymore. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Uh, hello, lots from California. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Is there anything else before I take off? I see some people leaving now, so I guess everyone's done with my rambling. <laughs> I am too. Um, did that answer your question, Mitchie? Was this video helpful at all too? I know it was very like minimal, but I just wanted to do some simple things, especially like, you know, embellishments and then um, just some easy six by six projects. But these are my favorite. Who doesn't love a cute little file folder? Yes, do definitely. Because you know, you're not going to use, I have things saved that I had triples of and I'm just going to end up giving it away. Oh, awesome. All right, guys. Well, I had so much fun doing this. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for joining. Thank you, everyone. I'll try and do this more often so that we can... Yes, watch it. I did a really quick, easy couple projects and just answered some questions, but I'll try to do this. Oh, I'm glad you guys don't think I ramble. Sometimes when I'm, I'm filming, I just kind of talking to myself so bye Angela all right everyone I will see you next time and if you guys have any suggestions for what you want to see live um I will do that like you know if something easy where I could talk to you and do it at the same time if you need me to explain it write in the comment and I'll definitely try to plan that for the next video okay everyone happy weekend and thank you so much for joining me bye everyone